Hello students, let us continue our chapter Float, Sinks and Mixes. Today's topic is we cannot dissolve something in water beyond a limit. Do you know why? Let us discuss in detail. Before we discuss in detail, let, let us discuss something important. Dear students, what do you mean by freezing? Have you ever wondered why the soft drink freezing when we open the lid? These soft drinks have carbon dioxide in water under pressure. When we open a bottle of a canned soft drink, the carbon dioxide gas dissolves in the drink and rushes out. This is known as fizz. Okay, students, did you understand what is fizz? Very good. So, dear students, why we cannot dissolve something in water beyond limit? You can see the picture. Dissolving sugar in cold water dissolving sugar in normal water dissolving sugar in hot water dear students i want you to follow this activity while you see this video let us do an activity take three glasses of water one glass of cold water one glass of normal water and one glass of hot water add one one spoon of sugar in each of them stir and observe the changes the sugar in hot water disappears first the normal water takes more time and the cold water takes the longest time in all the three glasses the solvent and the solute are the same why there is the difference in the speed of dissolving? The difference is due to heat. When water is heated, the heat energy causes the particles to start moving faster. The fast movement of the particles cause them to dissolve faster. Heating solvents like water or milk allows you to dissolve more quantity of the solute in it what i want you to do is try this activity at your home and observe whether the sugar disappears first or it takes more time or it takes the longest time just observe and see what happens i hope you have enjoyed today's class thank you class